Simulating physics is one of the hardest things to do in After Effects. Gravity, collisions, collapsing, attracting or repelling shapes. Physics animations have to be absolutely perfect, otherwise they feel off. Thanks Plug and Play for sponsoring this video. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel. Fizzin is an easy to use plugin that delivers awesome results quickly, no matter what your skill level is. Let's open the extension under window in the top menu. And I usually dock it to the preview window area up here. I've already created a comp with four shape layers. Let's make sure the shapes are positioned somewhat unstable so that you instantly feel this has to collapse. Then with no layer selected, let's choose the pen tool and add a floor. Hold shift to draw a straight horizontal line. Stroke width, two pixels. Let's name it quickly, floor. Then we select all the shapes, switch to the FISM window and click get, which imports all the shapes. Let's select the floor from the layer list down here and switch it to static in the properties window. By default, all layers are set to active. Let's maybe increase the length to eight seconds. This unit here is milliseconds. Then let's adjust some of the settings. You can select the layers you want to work on directly in the preview window. We should increase the density of the top shape, meaning the weight. Let's increase the restitution as well. That's how elastic and bouncy objects are. Let's increase the density of the triangle and maybe reduce the friction. It updates in real time, which makes it so much fun to play with. Finally, let's set the friction of the floor to zero. Pretend it's a really slick marble floor. Once you think it feels right, click apply and this creates an object for each shape. And a data layer, you need to adjust the simulation anytime later on. Then in a second step, I nearly always adjust the overall timing by adding the comp to a new comp and enable time remapping. I oftentimes speed the simulation up, like to match it to a beat. And to pronounce the movements, I sometimes ease the timing in the graph editor, like slow down the end, for example. Use the code manual15 to save 15% on the plugin or the subscription for all access. Check out the link in the description. You can also sign up for free access to tools and assets, by the way. It is really quick and easy to create particle explosions with FISM and After Effects. Let's double click on the ellipse tool to create a round shape a solid fill color, size, maybe 100 by 100 pixels. Then we duplicate the shape and position all the particles around the center. We select all layers, get them into FISM. Let's take a look at the world settings on the right. They influence the whole scene. Let's set gravity to zero, then select all shapes in the list. Let's try a negative value. To get a more powerful explosion, maybe minus 150. And let's activate all walls, not just the floor, so that the particles don't fly off, but bounce back. You could also adjust the wall friction and restitution. Let's make it more bouncy. <laughs> maybe even try minus 250 as a tractor value. Looks awesome. Click apply. There it is. Awesome. You can also create unique text animations with FISM. Use the type tool to add your text. Then right click on the layer, go to create and create shapes from text. It has created a group for each layer. Then make sure that each letter shape has its own separate shape layer. We go through and delete two of the three shapes. At the end, it's three letters, three shapes. Let's quickly name the shapes after the letters, obviously. G, A, P. Let's duplicate the word twice to create three rows of text. Let's roughly center them. We don't need the text layer anymore. Next, let's create a triangle by selecting the polygon tool. Double clicking on it, let's set points to 3, decrease the overall radius 
rotate it so that a corner points downwards. Then let's position it above the letters between the A and P. Because guess what? We want to hit the letters there and create a gap. See what I'm doing here? Clever, right? Let's add a position keyframe at the beginning, then at two seconds, let's move it down, almost below. Let's quickly open the graph editor and slow down the end a bit. Let's quickly check it out. Yeah, maybe we need to speed it up a bit. That's better. Again, we select all layers, open the FISM panel, get the layers, and first of all, switch off the gravity, set it to zero. Let's set the letters to dormant, which means they stay in place until they're hit by another object. The simulation considers keyframes, and you can see the triangle moving on after the last keyframe. FISM takes up on the forces and continues the movement. Let's select all letters by holding shift and reduce the friction so that they slide more. Already oh, starting to play around again. But honestly, it looks good to me. Let's export the layers back to After Effects and maybe hide the triangle. Awesome. Plugin Play will have a huge collection of plugins available soon from lots of creators. What's exciting about it is you don't have to pay for huge bundles with lots of unnecessary plugins you never use. You only pay for a flexible subscription that lets you use whatever plugin you really need and use at a time. You can also purchase plugins one-off, of course, if you don't want to mess around with a subscription. Keep an eye out, it's coming soon. Now, let's use FISM to animate liquid. I've created a composition. This time it sizes 1920 by 1920 pixels and added a lot of round shapes in different sizes all over the screen. We'll use one shape in the center that works like a magnet and attracts all the other shapes. Like before, we select all layers, open the FISM extension and import them. First, let's set the gravity to zero. Then we select the magnet layer, set it to static and increase the attractor value to something crazy <laughs> like 2000. Not bad. Maybe we need to slightly increase the value for all the other layers as well. We select them by holding shift. Let's also decrease the friction to 0.1. And let's set attractor to 30 maybe. That's wild. Let's increase the attractor value for the magnet slightly more and see what happens. <laughs> And let's decrease the restitution for all the other layers to 0.1. Maybe slightly increase the attractor value. Awesome. Apply. Now let's add the simulation to a new comp. Let's change the size in the comp settings to HD though, 1920 to 1080. Then let's turn it into liquid. First, let's add a Gaussian blur. I use the effects and presets window to search for it. Add it. Blurriness 100. Then we add Matte Joker. Here it is. Set all properties to zero except, except iterations. And this turns the shape into liquid. Awesome. But let's go one step further and add background. You can add any kind of background, of course. I use some kind of squared paper. Next, we add an adjustment layer under layer, new adjustment layer, let's name it FX. And use the liquid simulation as alpha track mat for the adjustment layer. There's nothing to see yet, we need to add some effects to it. Let's start with displacement map. We choose the liquid layer as displacement map layer after effects and masks apply and displace it vertically and horizontally slightly. Now you start to see an effect. Next, let's add turbulent displays and set the amount to 20, the size to 20 as well. All right, let's add more. We slightly blur everything with Gaussian blur. Blurriness 10 and let's add brightness and contrast and increase the brightness slightly. Now you can see the drops moving around. 
To add more detail, let's add drop shadows. We duplicate the liquid layer, move it below in the layer stacking order, make it visible, and add drop shadow. Let's increase the distance and softness, and check shadow only. We use the liquid layer as alpha track mat again, and invert the mat. Not bad, right? And much quicker than animating each shape with keyframes. I would recommend to check out the plugin because it gives you so many possibilities to simulate physics quick and easy. The link is in the description. Use the code MANUAL15 to save 15%. Why make things more difficult than necessary, right? On the left side, I've added a video you might like. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye, everyone.